Shalom and welcome to Tumit of Torah. This year is entitled, What Does It Mean Ishto Kugufo? A man's wife is like him. What does that mean? Well, in today's daf, Havdal and Aleph and Brochos, that's what the Gemara says. It's recording certain technical halachas about reading Shema. A man is saying Shema at night, Hamapia, let's say, at the end of the night, he died a little bit early, Marav, he has to say the Mitzvah Shema, fulfill the Mitzvah from the Torah, or if he died Marav at the right time, he's still doing the Mitzvah of Shema, Hamapia. And his wife's in the bed, and they're together in the bed. So in terms of certain halachic details, it says, Ishtod kugufo, meaning with a certain halachot and restrictions that may apply in other cases, maybe it doesn't apply here in terms of a man, his wife, when he's saying Shema, does it create here horror thoughts which are improper when he's saying Shema? It's brought down in the Shulchan Arachayim Gimel in Arachayim. So what does it mean in general, ishto gugufo? So there's a lot of technical halacha of ramifications. Uh, for example, if uh, dinim, when uh, someone's testifying against a woman, it's as if she's testifying against the man. So in terms of relatives and relationships and who can testify against whom, you're testifying a woman, it's like testifying against her husband. There's halachas of damage. A person goes and insults a woman, it's as if you're insulting a man. It's, it may be bullshit. Payment might go to the man in such a case as well. Misha Brewer brings down when a man lights Hanukkah candles, even if you have the minute for everyone in the, in the family to light, Ishto Kugufo, when he lights, as if she lit. So there's a lot of technical halachas, and you can't just expand it to any way you want. Any way you want, you just say Ishto Kugufo. A man goes in and shakes Lula, it's as if the woman shook Lula. It's not true. Man make it as if the woman make it. No, she has the halachas of either saying it or hearing it from him. You have to go case by case by case through all the various Gemara's of Shas and the halachas and see when do we say the technical rule of Yishtok Gufo. I'd like to just finish off with a beautiful point, more hashkafa, halachic type. The end of the 15th chapter, Hechaz Ish, the Ramam writes, when relating to our wives and how to treat our wives, he doesn't say Yishtok Gufo. The woman's that a woman is like the husband who says, it's habe yotem gufo. You respect your wife, you show love to her, if you adore her, you shower her with gifts and money and nice things and adoration, that's not ishto kugufo, that's habe yotem gufo, a lot more. We should be zochet to keep all the halachot of ishto kugufo where it applies in every case, and especially at the end of Ted Vav and Hechot Ishut, that we should be able to machabed and treat our wives, like we say in the Ketuvah, under the Chuppah, Man Alach Vafren Vaozem, we're going to take his own, we're going to take care of it in every kind of way, financially, psychologically, spiritually, with love and adoration and respect. Shalom.